At the Eastman, number of children referred to have carious teeth extracted has more than doubled in the last seven years. Dental decay is caused by bacteria, demoralizing enamel and underlying dentine. To halt disease progression, teeth were filled with mercury amalgam fillings. However, due to a global agreement, all mercury-containing products are gradually being phased out. The only viable alternative is the white composite fillings, which, unlike amalgam, have no antibacterial effect. As a result, to prevent recurrent disease and to completely seal the cavity, all the carious tissues has to be drilled out, and complex bonding procedures are to be uh, uh, applied. This makes composite fillings with young children difficult and traumatic. As a research group, we are developing smart, strong, longer-lasting composite materials with low levels of adhesion-promoting, remineralizing, and antibacterial agents. My research results have proven that these new components promote deep penetration and effective bonding with disease-affected dentine. It also showed that our material provides early highly effective release of antibacterial agent within the diseased tissue, which provides early disinfection of the cavity to prevent recurrent of the disease or any future bacterial attack. This agent binds to bacteria causing their death but is non-toxic to our own cells. Subsequent release of remineralizing agent enables better sealing of the cavity and reprecipitation of minerals to promote tooth self-repair. These features will allow the dentist to place the filling in a single step without need for extensive excavation. This will mean no anesthesia or drilling required. Furthermore, our material mechanical properties vary with depth to better match enamel and dentine properties. Large-scale manufacture, discussions with regulatory advisors, technical file development for CE mark, and clinical trial design are currently being sorted. The novel composite should help resolve the growing crisis of not being able to treat children's teeth in general dental practice. It will enable a simpler, pain-free, and minimally invasive technique, which will be better accepted by children. It will also help reduce the escalating numbers of children referred to NHS hospitals, which will save 35 million pounds per year, which is the cost of teeth extractions for children under general anesthesia. Thank you very much.